here at Buffalo Touch, we end up having to add a lot of elements to a photograph that weren't originally there. Things that were too costly, forgotten, or just design changes. I don't have such an element, so I'm going to set up my own. Now, I set this up at 500 by 500 pixels by 72 dpi and with my blank screen I am going to pull a gradation across the screen. Now make sure these buttons are selected and start one quarter of the way over and go to about three quarters of the way over creating a straight gradation. Then go to fill, render, diffuse clouds. Hit command I to invert and then go to adjust layers and bring up your levels palette. Now in this, you want to take your black and pull it all the way over, almost to the white, but not quite. And just do this by eye. When it starts looking like lightning, it is. Hit OK, and then hit Command A to select all. Go back to your boot document, and hit Command V. When it's pasted, select it, and then go down to hit Multiply to get rid of the blacks. Then I hit Command T to transform it to place the object where I want it and I'm just going to manipulate it here in its spot until it gets into a position that works well. And then hit apply. Now I'm going to tweak this a little bit in levels just to get rid of some of the whites that are there and then hit OK. Now I'm going to uh, expand a little more because I want my lightning to be a little bit fatter than it is right now. So I hit Command T to transform it again and then I hit apply. I'm going to use my eraser tool and I'm going to bring down the opacity to about 40 to soften the hit mark where it's hitting the boot. And I think I am actually going to use another lightning bolt. So I'm going to go into my history pot, go back up to where I had the gradation and make this one a little bit tighter and then hit diffuse clouds again and then hit I invert and then hit adjust levels and shoot this one down. You'll notice when I was under filters I just went to the top one. Filters will save your last filter that you used. Well now I'm dragging this into my new document I'm going to hit multiply again and then select it, make sure it's selected, hit Command T, transform it, and adjust it to the position I want it in. And then I'm going to transform, flip it, so I can get these two lightning bolts to line up a lot. Now, they don't line up enough right here, so I think I'm going to try to use another transform feature, which is, um, called Transform Warp. You'll also find that under the uh, Edit Palette. I'm just going to push and pull this until they somewhat line up with each other so it looks like a single lightning bolt that's sending off rays. Okay, I'm happy with that adjustment, so I'm going to hit Apply. Then I'm going to grab my Eraser Tool again, and I'm going to take it down even more, about 20%, and go back through this lightning bolt, erasing it, just so it feels like it's one lightning bolt. After you get your lightning bolt looking the way you want, click on the top layer, hit Shift Option Command E to create a flat layer of your object. With this new flat layer, I'm going to go Image Adjust Curves, and I'm going to try to make this a little bit more dramatic than the original photographs. And that does it right there, so I'll hit OK, and then I'm going to click on that layer and duplicate it, and do the same thing. I'm going into Curves, and I'm just going to pull up right here until it lightens the image. Now I'm going to put a mask on this, hit Command I to invert it, go back in with my paintbrush tool and I'm going to have to switch it to white and then I'm just going to, in the mask, paint with the white brush to bring out that light layer a little bit. This will help integrate both of the pictures and give a little more dramatic lighting effect and there you have it. You have an object integrated into a photo that looks realistic.